What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. We are so glad to have you. If you've already been a subscriber for a while, welcome back. In case you haven't read my thumbnail, this video is going to be how I edit my Instagram pictures as well as what's on my iPhone. Recently, I've been getting a lot of comments on my pictures saying, how do you edit your Instagram pictures? And then I've been getting DMs saying how cool my Instagram feed looks. So what better to do than a video on how I edit my Instagram pictures for you guys. I'm actually really excited about this video because I'm so proud of myself because I've been struggling with like an Instagram theme for a while. I would go through phases where I would do like faded photos, I like tried everything but I couldn't stick with it but I feel like the theme I have for my Instagram which is like the pinkish purplish colors it really fits my personality and it fits who I am and so like when your Instagram reflects who you are it, it just it makes me really happy and I like when people notice it so thank you for all the DMs thanks for the comments we're gonna get started Okay guys, so getting into what's on my iPhone. As you see, once we open up my phone, it's just all the regular apps, nothing special. It's just messages, camera, maps, weather, music, all that stuff. So it's nothing really special. We have my extras, just stuff I never go on, and if I do, it's rare. But the P-Tracker is for my period. If you do need an app that tracks it, I really recommend P-Tracker. It's amazing. Over here, we have the countdown app. This is just if you want to count down to special events like Christmas, birthdays, graduation, going to a concert. I don't know why, but this is counting down the last day of school. This has already happened. I don't know why it's still counting down. We go to my social apps. Feel free to follow me on any of these. I'll leave them down below. I have my Instagram, Snapchat, Pinterest, Bitmoji. Bitmojis are the cutest thing in the world. If you don't have one, make one because they are so cute. YouTube, YouTube Studio. If you don't know what YouTube Studio is, it just basically gives you all your YouTube channel analytics. It tells you watch time, your revenue, if you're making money, all that good stuff. And then I have Twitter, YOLO, and then Snug. Snug is an awesome app. This is what shaped my Instagram feed. It basically allows you to post pictures on your Instagram to see what they look like with your feed. I haven't posted this picture just yet, but I'm going to soon because I like it. And so basically, if I just want to choose a random picture, and it allows you to switch around your feed and see what it looks like. And if you're like, oh, I don't like that with my feed, you can go over delete it. Boom, you don't have to post it. Or if you want to re-edit it to where it matches your feed, perfect. So I believe that app is 99 cents. Don't quote me on that, but I would recommend getting it because it's what's really helped me with my feed if you're serious about your Instagram. Over here, photography, we have Bisco. That's what I edit all my pictures on. I'll be back on that app soon to show you guys how I edit my Instagram photos. Photo Grid is just, you can make different collages on them as well. Sprocket, I have the HP Sprocket and that allows me to print out little tiny pictures I have. They're kind of like um, little Polaroids, but they don't have the white background. And they're also stickers, so if you want to peel off the back and stick it on something, that is what I'm doing with my summer book or my summer journal. And then we have the Huji app. I never use it, um, but it makes your pictures orange and vintage looking, very summer-like. Photo Moments, it doesn't, it's not a cool app. I, it's not the app, I don't know. Pixar and Afterlight are what I have used to edit some other pictures in order for them to go with my feed. It's not like I'm filtering them, but I add special light effects to them. PS Express, I don't really use. I don't know why I have it on my phone. Over here, my music, I have Tempo Slow and then TikTok. I don't make videos on TikTok, but I just like to watch other people's TikToks. I might be making TikTok soon, who knows. Uh, education, that's just all my education apps. There's nothing really to see there. It just has like my grades and stuff. Entertainment, Netflix. I don't know why I have my Gmail in my entertainment folder. I'm not really entertained by my Gmail. Now the next app I have, it's called Amanda Hire. It has a picture of me on it too. It's not an app you can download. That's what everybody asks me when they go on my phone. You have your own app? No, I was once a ambassador for a photographer and this is how I would get all my pictures from her. 
And so obviously you can see they're all just pictures of me. So there's that. I have PayPal and then if, as we scroll through to the next page the, or the next screen, oh my god. So as you can see here, I have the Hollister app, Walgreens app, Pakistan, Subway, and Domino's apps. Don't ask why. Okay, Google Photos. If you keep running out of room on your phone because you have so many pictures, like me, then this is the perfect app for you because it allows you to upload all of your pictures onto this app and also delete them off of your camera roll, allowing you more room to take more pictures. So that helps me out a lot because I take a lot of pictures. And then the next folder we have, it just has my health stuff in it and it's mainly for my Apple Watch. Now getting into how I edit my Instagram pictures. Okay, so we're going to go into the Visco app and we are going to edit, we're gonna edit this picture that I have and I have already edited it twice. But we're gonna go in and edit it one more time because why not let's see where it is there it is we're gonna import it bam so we're gonna go here and i have the like premium visco i don't know how much it is but i think it's i believe it's 20 dollars a year but it's so worth it like i love visco so much it is amazing like download the visco app right now Okay, and it allows me all these beautiful filters. So my go-to filter is AU5. So we're going to click on that. And this basically just allows you to put none of the filter, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, and the full amount. I'm going to leave it at the full amount because I need as much pink as I could get in this picture because as you can see, there's no pink in it. That's a little bit of a problem. So exposure, we're going to put it to 0.7, just something to give us a little bit of a lighter touch to it. Contrast, I don't mess with because it makes your pictures look really fake sometimes, but if you use it right, it's, it's amazing. I use it to bring out some of the pink sometimes, but not all the time. Adjust, this just makes you, you could crop your pictures, you wanna crop it to where it's like that. That does not look cute, so we are not going to do that. We're gonna put it back. Oops, oops, there we go. Sharpen just makes the edges of your pictures look very clean and sharp. Clarity, I never mess with because it makes your pictures look like that. And we don't want that. Saturation, this can make your pictures look really fake. So make sure you're very careful with this because we don't want to be looking like this. We look like an orange smurf, no. Orange Smurfs are like Oompa Loompas. Cause aren't Oompa Loompas? I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so we're gonna put that to 0.1 because we don't want a lot of it, but we do like a little bit of it. I never mess with the highlights and shadows. I don't really need to for my Instagram pictures. Okay, now for the temperature and the tint. If you're trying to do like pink theme to your Instagram, it's really good if you put the temperature on blue because it makes the pink stand out even more. Pink and blue kind of go together. So we're gonna do temperature to negative one, just to give it a little something, and then put a little bit of pink to it as well. We don't wanna do it too much, because then I'll start to look pink. We don't want that. Skin tone, I do like to put it on the pink side. This makes you look yellow, this makes you look more pink. Me being really pale, I like to have a little bit of color by putting it all the way on the pink side. Vintage, I never mess with either, but I think it looks so cool on photos because it makes the backgrounds look really dark, as you can see. Grain, I don't mess with, but it looks really good for some pictures if you're trying to make it look old. Fade, I used to fade my pictures a lot in middle school. Obviously, I've archived all of those so you guys can't see them because it's embarrassing, but I tried to do a faded theme that just did not go with who I was as a person because I'm I feel like I'm like bright very bright and fading my pictures was not the move this is where the pink comes in guys this is like the most important part we're gonna go to the tint you hit the pink as you can tell the background now looks more pink look this is the original and this is the pink so we're gonna end up putting I would say about eight on there so that way it's not too crazy and over here, 
This is just where you could bring out certain colors. This obviously makes it look more blue. This makes it look more greenish blue. I like the blue, so we're just gonna edit some of that. Over here, we wanna make the pink really stand out. And what I like to do is I like to go back through and add even more pink to it if I need to. You could just bring that out a little bit. And you can even use the shadows tint and put pink on that as well. I don't really like that because it makes everything look completely pink. But there is our picture, guys. And we're gonna just hit next, save to camera roll. Then we're gonna go on over here to the Snug app. And we're gonna delete that one, pretend like we don't have it. Add one, add our newest. Boom, goes with the feed perfectly. And I could even add more pink to the picture if I wanted to, but I think we're okay for right now. I don't know, I might go back through and add a little bit more pink, but that's how I edit my Instagram pictures. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate all the love and support. Thank you for all the comments on my pictures, all the comments on my YouTube videos. I appreciate you guys all so much. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed this video. My social media is down below. Oh. How could I forget this? Oh my gosh. So, I don't know if you guys have noticed throughout this video, but my bed might look a little different. I have white sheets. And so that's a little sneak peek for you guys later on because my room has been redone. I used to have stuff up here and stuff over here. Well, my room is in the process of being redone. So I'll do a room tour slash remodel in a few weeks. Definitely before I go back to school and I go back to school in three weeks. Yeah, that's a little surprise I have for you guys. Thank you guys so much. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. I love you guys and hopefully I will see you real soon. Bye.